welcome to another moment of truth, a time we study the word of God together. We have been talking about no denying the fact that there are giants, no denying the fact that there are problems. But let's be a little bit practical. You see, sicknesses can constitute giants. You say, Pastor, I'm sick. I've gone to the hospital. They don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm feeling bad inside of me. So, is that not a giant enough? Yes, it is enough a giant to say, we are going to kill you. You see, giants are there to want to kill. And giants are there to prevent you from getting into your promised land. When you see somebody who is saying, Pastor, I have arthritis. He said, what do you mean by arthritis? He said, ah, Pastor, it's painful. You know, we told you, giant, the giant of God, he has an origin. He said, where is he pain? You say, Pastor, I know it is this spot. The pain is here. The giant is here. He's disturbing me every day. I want to get out of it, but I'm not getting out of it. I know. So what's the secret? I will still teach you. When you look at the scripture very well, the Bible, the Bible also made us to understand. Yes, brethren, we do not walk by sight. Anyone that is born again, Anyone that has given his life to Jesus Christ, anyone that is serving God faithfully, that man must never be intimidated by anything upon the face of the earth. He said, but pastor, what about if that thing is going to kill him? I said, yes, you cannot. Because the Bible tells me you have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. He said, but how is that going to heal me? May I tell you, God has capacity to heal you. Even if he does not heal you, if you die, is waiting for you. What a joy. Unbeliever, if unbeliever die and that giant kills that unbeliever, that unbeliever has no hope in eternity. So that is why the devil will not want to kill you until he makes sure that he first of all removes Jesus Christ from your life. And then he will say, okay, let him die now. And when he knows that you are not going to deny, he will prefer to stay to, 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 to keep you from dying for now. And of course, heaven will step in. Sir, there are marriages that are like giants. You say, Pastor, you don't know the kind of marriage I'm going into. My husband is a devil. He's a wicked soul. That's a giant, right? I agree. Is he wicked? Yes, I agree. Because these are statistics of wickedness of giants in marriages. You say it's my wife, Pastor, you don't know my wife. When she's sleeping, she crosses her leg like this and I'm suspecting that she's a witch. Eh? She must be a witch, Pastor. I can't sleep in that house. I know. I know that that is a challenge of your life, but don't worry, they are just giants. How are you supposed to see your giant? Your own giant may not be a bad woman in the house. Your own giant may not be a bad man in the house. Your own giant could be demonic activities. No sooner you lay down and you close your eyes like this, some demons are pursuing you. Pastor, you don't know what I'm passing through, I know. They are giants, they have statistics. They have location. They are disturbing you. I know. But I am still telling you, it is not so much of your giants. It is your God. It is your God that matters because we have been brought up to be binding the devil every day, every day, every day. We have so much emphasized the giants and the devil behind the giants and we have forgotten the size of our God. The size of our God created everything, my friend. The doctors might have given you reports. And you honestly, you say, Pastor, I didn't believe them. When I saw the x-ray myself, I knew I am a dead and I'm a walking dead. Yes, I know. Goliath has from Goliath came from God. He's a man from God. The problem in your life, yes, the source of it, they have showed you in x-ray. The source of it, they have showed you in the MRI. The source of it, they have showed it to you in the CT scan. Evidently, CT scan is not telling lie. Evidently, x-ray is not telling lie. Evidently, MRI is not telling lie. I know. Because those are statistics that giants will always present. You say, Pastor, I have failed that exam three times. Yes, I know you have. They are giants. Yes, but how are you supposed to look at it? Not your giant anymore. Not your Goliath anymore, but your God. There is a God that gave them the brain to set that exam. When you know how to connect with that God, the exam will cease to be a giant. When you know how to connect to the God of heaven, that giant of a husband, that giant of a wife will not be there anymore. That is why I'm telling you and I'm submitting to you, it is not your Goliath that matters. It is your God. Maybe some of you will say, Pastor, anger is my problem and uh, he, 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 I'm impatient, I lack patience, I economic and financial problem. This giant of money is not available, it's too much for me. Excuse me, those are statistics. 
There is God, there is a God beyond the statistics. So therefore, I want to submit to you before I let you go today. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 4 verse number 18, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 18, you will hear the scripture says, Why we look not on the things that won't see that we see, but on the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, and the things which are not seen are eternal. My brother, my sister, every giant that you are looking at, I don't care their source. I don't care their statistics. They are temporal. They are not final. But there is one dimension that is eternal. The dimension of God. When God steps in, a lot of things take shape. When God steps in, a lot of things change. It is not your giant. It is your God. Who, which God do you serve? I will show you, maybe by the time we come in the next episode, I want to show you one or two illustrations of how some people, they saw the same giant, but they, they, they give a different report. May you be able to get into the class of those people where no giants will be able to intimidate you in life. Go and prosper in the course of this week and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.